sir why are you interested in politics i think this is a very good question uh, why is a person who was in the is having a good job having a promotion capacity to become you know potentially even a governor of a state or ambassador of india the question is why would a person like me uh, do what is called the hard work to join politics particularly if i'm not joining a politics of an existing party like a mainstream party and uh, you know where people are automatically become ministers it's a good question and i think the the answer to that is simple that by the time i was uh, had spent a uh, total of around 15 years or so in the is uh, i came to the view that it is actually not going to work for me to be in the is anymore uh, the system in 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 india was not working in the, in the in the favor of the poor we needed what i needed was a system by which india's poverty is eliminated very quickly i needed a system where there's honesty i needed a system where there's justice my ministers were all corrupt and i don't means i don't means this word and i say they are all corrupt they some of them started honest from assam kan parishad etc but then they all turned corrupt ministers are corrupt the director of education is corrupt the director of technical education the director of primary education corrupt the teachers are being you know uh, basically hired on uh, on uh, after paying bribes the question for me for me was why is india in such a bad shape and it was all clear increasingly clear that it had to be we had to do something to change the system the design of the system and the more i looked into this so i had gone and done a, a, a kind of a post graduate diploma in business from australia uh, then i did a, 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 a phd from the usa in economics and all this was telling me one simple thing that the countries of the world have taken on a completely different approach to governance for example they allow businesses to do whatever they want so long as they are not harming others they ensure that a local government works that ensure that people are hired at the uh, uh, paid at the right level and if they perform they stay as the chief executive of the uh, local government otherwise they are fired in india we had is officers my colleagues were running bombay municipal corporation delhi dda and everything of this sort and i knew that these fellows are not accountable my my colleagues are not accountable because they cannot be easily dismissed our indian system gives protection to them under the constitution so it became more and more clear to me that this required a change in the design of the laws the design of the constitution itself and also the complete liberalization of the economy we also had i had issues as well with the restriction on freedom of speech in india i do not like the idea that people are being stopped from speaking i don't like censor censorship i don't like the idea of uh, bans on books but india was having all these th problems so i think the the answer to this question is that when everything is seen as a whole it became clear that this this required a political solution and i looked around and there was none and there was none the existing parties were part of the problem and so i had also worked out that we need a liberal party a liberal party is a party that needs to be supporting liberty it supports the citizens uh, in their in their in, in the right to life uh, property and uh, general freedom to do what they want this is the kind of concept that was emerging in my mind after many years in the is and so finally i decided i have to leave the is because it has to be done through a political process so that was more or less the reason i i thought or i am in politics and and, and i don't look like a politician i am a pretty much like an academic i have got a very good uh, strong policy background but i'm doing the hard work required to help india to become a great country uh, as we can become but it will require changing systems and it will require a liberal political party it will not happen through the existing political parties no matter how many good people we had in these parties at one time we had wonderful people in these parties but then all these parties have decayed including the bjp which is nothing but following the same principles of Uh, the congress and the congress is following the principles of nehru and i have written a book on this called breaking free of nehru in which i explain in great detail how our incentives are so so corrupted in india and how we actually can change it and that is what i i thought we have to do that is why i have been working for a political party now for nearly 20 years